Hey, go back to the channel. Today, Tina Stein's Gaze Zero. Last video, watch episode six and seven. And at the end of episode seven, Okube was staring at Kurusu. Like, he was dragged to a different world line. Amadeus was hacked or something. I don't, it, it wasn't really hacked because I'm sure it's the people, it's an inside job. So it's them. They just turn her systems off. So I don't know why. But, and then he got a call. She was begging for help and he was pulled somewhere. He said reading Steiner and we're facing off Kurusu and it ends there. But, anyways, I'm really excited to continue with these next few episodes because what happened at the end of last video him standing in front of Kurusu, it needs some explanations. Like, it can't be just that unless he gets a little glimpse and he's pulled back. Like, maybe whatever happened to him wasn't stable and I don't know. But yeah, it's not for the do. Let's continue. Explanations, please. Jeez, thanks for letting me know you were here. His outfit there, his You're outfit. You're get arrested creeping around like that. Anyway, I'm shocked to see you. You never show your face these days. What type of world line is this? He never shows his face. So maybe that'll explain that she's not reacting to his black outfit. But she's still here. <laughs> hey, can we not start the year like this? <laughs> but everything that happened since this season started, and now he's oh, here, geez. is gone to me sometimes too i mean the world line's still there but he's not in it anymore are you think Sorry. thinking of her of who mayuri i mean she's dead in the oh wait wait, wait. you never show your face around here so if my is dead and this is the same world line who tried to escape the entire time in the first season i can't come here without the memories flooding in i hear her footsteps and the door opens and I half expect to hear her little sing-song greeting. Two to room. He can't win. Wow, there's Yuki as well, but she was never in the first season like that. All her friends. Oh yeah. Wait, I wrote something down. I wanted to say. So I wrote down Yuki, which is um, Susan's mom. We know, you know. Sorry, Yuki, right? She's into artificial intelligence. Why and since when? We don't really know her that much, sure, but the fact that she now has an injury on her wrist after she, um, someone in the Morse Kahoma got kicked by Suzuha, and not like she's into artificial intelligence, like, I mean, we don't know how the future is. Sure, her mom died and her mom's on her side, whatever, she gave birth to Suzuha, but doesn't mean she wasn't against them in the past and changed her way, just no one found out. Like, I don't know. Now I have to suspect her. This is what I was saying about, um, what's that girl's name? The, the new girl with the red hair that lost her memories. I said maybe they sent it to the future like after they made her from Kudus's DNA because the resemblance is uncanny. Um, I mean if they have a time machine now I'll sing. And then she came back and they realized she's back and then she got, cause she's, I don't know. Does that make sense? No. And then I wrote Mayuri's friends, the girls that went to the store to get more tea. So conveniently missing what happened at the lab. Now I'm suspecting them. Like literally the gap between when they came back and then the invaders left was too close was too close, like you would have seen them. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. You essentially just disappeared. Not that I blame you. The same way that he's acting too, now. But not on the same level as you. With her being dead. How did this happen? How is she here? Why is she here alone then? Awful. Hi, the phone wave. Oh. Ask the person who demolished it. You don't recall? How, how are you gonna get back? What is going on here? Do you realize? She was They're taking her to the hospital now. The paramedics oh. say it looks like a heart attack. What made Reading Steiner kick in? There was no D mail. There was no time leaping. So why? Yeah. Ooh. They have a time machine in in this timeline. Her dad would still have like the metal upa and all that. They have some, the TV was time mentioned Russian. So I'm thinking. <sighs> Special treat. I brought Ocarina in with me today. Uh, what? Okabe's here? Excuse me? Hmm? My name's Bubuki. Glad to finally meet you. Mayuri and I were cosplay friends, oh, and I just that's... want you to know that she she's, so, she's so different from the other world. Bubu Meow graciously stepped in to help out at May Queen after our sweet Mayushi left us. <laughs> and she seemed healthy, so I was shocked. One minute she was alive, and the next. <laughs> Bubu Meow. It was a world where Mayuri was still alive. If you knew it existed, would it hurt?
hurt less. Taru, step outside with me. There are things you should say and things you should definitely not say. You're the one who couldn't make the choice to keep her with us in this one! We had Echelon's data hacked, cracked wide open, but you couldn't pull the trigger. Oh, because he said Kusu. Couldn't press the enter key. You made the choice that effectively ended Mayuri's life. And then, to top it off, you destroyed the phone wave and time leap machine? If you knew you were going to regret it later, you should have thought about that and kept it intact! I, I couldn't believe he'd have the balls to say all that after everything that happened. You don't think he's... We're seeing, like, every freaking version of this show. Like, soon he clicked the enter key to save uh, Mayuri over <laughs> Kurusu. And now we're here. He didn't click it. So now we're saying this outcome. Like, oh my goodness. I think she realizes he's from the future. Or a different role line. <laughs> Not necessarily the future. How did you know I was here? No offense. You're predictable. So. That's true. It's a random stare. Just kidding. Look, Okabe. Be honest. You came from a different world line, didn't you? Holy goodness. Okabe has it hard, like um, Hashida. No, I don't say that. Daru was <laughs> getting mad at him. You don't know, Daru. You don't know. Hey, take off that Oh, and you wouldn't sit if there. If you were the Okabe who gave up on her, you wouldn't ever dream of sitting in her favorite seat. He never did. That's how he coped with the guilt. I thought she was looking at like the Upa plush, whatever that is. Um, I see. Also, you seem to have no recollection of the GPS. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. She, oh, she must have been repairing it. Why was she like behind the curtain doing something and why is she always here by herself? It's still here? No, I rebuilt it. Yeah, she, he has to, I mean, you can't stay here. You really remade it? What for? To send a message into the past. No. In order to change world lines. You know, if this is the same world that he didn't click enter, she knows the outcome um, of going back or whatever. You're the Okabe Rintaro from a wholly different world line. That's all there is to say. Go back. I mean, if you really if you think about it, he's been everywhere. Except he just, yeah, he's been everywhere. You loved me and I tried to save you. But I failed and it cost you your life. And now, you want me to... You want to make me kill you all over again? I can't do it. I don't have the strength. <sighs> what is gonna happen? Maybe he'll find out some secrets from this world line, and then he goes back, we'll bring it back, and do it with the people at hand. You can still hear the melody, the same familiar tone, but down in different ways. I love hearing it. What is this? Where are we going? You'll know when we arrive there. Her grave? Amadeus has got nothing on the real you. Amadeus? You know, the artificial intelligence. How did you even hear about that? Oh! oh I forgot about all that. She would know about it. We just, she never talks about herself like that. Only about her dad and little hints about how miserable she was. Wow, so interesting. Next thing we knew, he knows a lot. Like when he went and told Mr. Brown everything, um, he just, I have just happened to know from before and know everything. Well, all of my memories are contained within the program's database. So it follows that my time machine concept would be stored therein as well. What? In theory. So when Amadeus called you, it activated like that? So it has nothing to do with, but still, Amadeus was hacked. I still blame them. So I assume you were her feisty sidekick then? How rude. I was anything but feisty when it came to her. I'd go so far as to call myself courteous. Maho adored me. How about adore? Is, is she still around and you're still around? It's like you just... Oh. Yeah, crazy. You were a wreck after Mayuri died. We were all very concerned about you. You stopped going to the lab, you dropped out of college. And you just stood here every day, sun up to sun down. It was like you were waiting for someone to take you to the other side. When he comes and replaces like the Okabe of this world line, like, where does that one go? <laughs> Would he still be here? 
No. I mean, he was never in Akihabara, but then he disappeared in the lab. I think, well, that is just so confusing. You're mistaken. Even if I did go back to a beta world mine, I'm crushed by guilt there, too. The feeling never leaves me, and you're dead! Get a hold of yourself, Okabe Rinjiro! If Hoi Kyoma is still in there somewhere, then find him! Be brash and indomitable again! That wasn't it! Uh, whether, he, like he said, whether he stays here or goes back, he's still crushed by guilt. It's still hard for him to continue living or... I don't know, but... She's, she's... The way she forces him to go back, or... You know, to always choose my lady like for yourself is very brave, but this is like a very, very hard decision. It's not as easy. What makes you think losing you would be easier than him losing my lady? I don't know. It's just damn. The fact that this is a decision he has to make. This world mine shouldn't exist in the first place. I shouldn't be here. This world is only a dream, a bleak fantasy. That's why you've got to go back, Okabe. It's a dream. And you have to wake up. Dream. Yes. Oh, is it really a dream? What happened to him last? He answered the phone. Was he shocked and passed out? Because I see light fading. That's not really a dream. But she's right. Well, this world life is kind of isn't meant to exist. She died even before all the their time travel endeavors. So if you think about it that way, then yeah. But there is a way. The ending we got in the first season for them to both be alive. Don't know how this is gonna end, but. Is he gonna raise his hands to the sky like she always does? She talked about some dreams and I thought he really wasn't a dream. Okay, it's not really a dream. Before you send the message, I need you to make me a promise. What's that? When you get back, I want you to forget all about me. I can't do that. There's no way. It would behoove you not to interact with Amadeus too much when you get there. <laughs> this is a pinky promise. Break it and I'll stab an electrode into your hippocampus. Because it's a pinky promise. Stop. <laughs> that was really lame. Oh, shut up. Because it's a pinky promise. I haven't made one of those in a minute. In forever. Pinky swear, actually. Don't come in. Send message. Send. Oh, don't come in. Don't come in where? Because it's a pinky promise. I'll stab an extra something in your hippo pants. Hey, do you remember what happened the day we first met? I was going to say when we first met because that always happens. Hey, Nana. I was thinking that, but still. You were pulling and pawing at my clothes like a crazy person. I was sure you were some kind of deranged pervert. Makes sense. From her perspective, that is the first time we met. And yet, from mine, she was... Wait. Wait, what? Let me in on it, because... Okabe? Don't make it harder than nerdy is. <laughs> Why would you want to leave if you say anything sweet? Huh? Or a kiss. She's in a present. Ah, yes, present. So she in a present. Holy crap. I was hoping for the ending song. Hmm. I know she's gonna do that. So grateful that I met you. This is before he hit enter, and now she's running back from when she went to the station or the airport or wherever she was. The song for this episode matches the whole mood. Hope the other one comes back. I love that in the song. We're gonna hear what she said. We're gonna see her point of view. Really, we. I mean, we are seeing her point of view. Message for her not to come in. Still winning anyways. I'm not saying the text messages are foolproof. 
Why is he not who? Okuri? <laughs> You're finally awake. What well, happened? I'll be damned, buddy. You had us all freaking out when you just collapsed for no reason like that. I collapsed? Really? You mean, Pupaki and I both collapsed? Yeah. And to make matters even worse, most of the hospitals were shut down for the new... Who's Pupaki? What else happened? We also found out that a burglar broke into Maho's hotel room. And that's not everything. There was an explosion at the Waco City office. Then so much damn happened when he was out. It's like, okay, he's out. Go, go, go. Who's Fubuki? One of her friends? Yeah. Short hair girl. Why the heck does she faint? Suspicious. What strange timing. Makes me think someone was orchestrating all of this. Definitely. The heck? Any clue who did it? Not at all. See? It has to be what I said. Will you just drop it? What did she what? say? What? Kaede is writing a romance novel. She thinks this means Okabe and I must be soulmates. Huh? It's true, Fubuki. When you first woke up, all you wanted to talk about was Okarine. I told you that was just because of the weird dream I had. What dream? It was so vivid and realistic. Like... Wait, Koei? My Yushi had been... Hmm? She was dead. Don't worry. It was just a nightmare, not real at all. But in it, Mayushi was gone. And I was working in the making cafe with Ferris. And then Okreen came in, and I had never met him. She has memories from the Alpha World line. We, they both went there? Like, why here? What's going on? Could it be reading Steiner? Hmm. Well, your symptoms of all- Hey, it could be that still. Nothing too crazy. Fubuki and Okabe were both present for the attack. They collapsed at the same time? What was he like when he regained consciousness? Like the same brooding mess he's been for a while now. But he did say a name. He mentioned Makise. I'll eat something later. At the hotel. You're going back? <laughs> the professor asked me the same thing. He said I should probably move to a different one now. He's right, you'd be safer that way. But Do we trust the professor? I'm just gonna... Say. I'm not gonna say With too us? much. <laughs> Cause... On the she has her own emoji, her sticker. Uh, uh, well, where did you even come from? I've been here for a while. I know I don't sound too much, but you're making me feel invisible. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> Pout. Is that a Suzu house sticker? I like Moika, even though she <laughs> killed my in the other red line. She was relying so heavily and she was so... Um, what's the word? I don't want to use the word obsessed, even though she was. It was, she was so loyal to uh, FB or whatever. She had nothing else but FB, so ooh. Daru application, all these little things. <laughs> now he's getting so used, used to how she communicates. He's not even talking, he's replying in text. Can you give him best game for me? Okay, his sticker. <laughs> I vow to protect this world where my Yuri gets to live, and I will not resort to time travel. I know this is what Kurosu would want. It's the only choice. Hiyajo. Wow, like, going back, though, it, it made him a little bit more stronger. Even though I thought it wouldn't, like, seeing her again and having to leave. But she's so insistent and so sure. Yeah, this, this is what she wants, so he's deciding to protect the line. I want you to live with me for as long as you're in Japan, okay, Mahomyo? Mahomyo? <laughs> We've got Kuroki here to protect us. He's great. The old man. <laughs> you may not understand this, but it means a great deal to me. You going? What are you? What are you gonna do there? Suzu. Now then, I order you to tell me, Okabe Rintaro. Tell you what happened when he switched. How it happened without her machine, or I don't know. Is this a different world line than the one we were in before? Don't worry. Everything's okay. We're still in the same world line. Is that the truth? Yes. We shifted to a different one for a bit, but now we're back. But I have no idea what caused it. The earthquakes. In Russia. Huh? Those have nothing to do with nuclear testing. They're the result of America and Russia racing to invent time machines. Mm -hmm. And her dad took her uh, theory thing, so... It's phonetic code. What is phonetic code? Used in the military. Mostly in the Western world. Ooh, so the attackers aren't even. Yeah, foreigners. Okay, yeah, never mind, never mind. The 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 professor's still here, so I'm. 
he's still there and under suspicion, but... I'm going back to July 28th, and you're coming with me. And if I won't? I won't give you that choice. What if it's already too late? Could you decide? Could you make the choice between two world lines and know you've done no harm? Are you willing to kill this world line to just let it dissolve into the ether? Shut up now! You shot me. I won't miss again. What is going on, Suzuha? You're gonna kill him, but you want to bring him. You, you need him to fix everything. You can't do anything on your own. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry, there are tears. I, I was still like seeing her point of view as well. I understand her um her fear. I understand his reservations. So I'm sorry. It's just like the gun. What are you doing? I still understand you. And what happens if going back only makes the situation worse? No, that's not What if we're able to change the world line? But all that awaits us is a future even more desolate and terrifying than the one you came You didn't know that far ahead, but even if we can change the events of the past. We can't manipulate the future to be what we want. Suzuha. Dad. How could you be sure it would solve anything? I don't know! From Just the permission. moment I started researching time travel, one problem kept coming back to me over and over. Trying to control the outcome of world lines and manipulate the law of causality is too much for any of us. Then what can we do? Why do you think I'm doing- How are y'all more intelligent than your future selves? You guys sent her back. You guys sent her back. I'm not so sure about Okazo, but you guys sent her back. So, if, because, and since you guys sent her back, she, listening to her would make more sense because the future you, the, you guys from the future, thought it was wise to send her back. So, you know what I mean? Like, How about you just trust what your dear old dad has to say and behave accordingly for once in your life? Just leave it all to me. I'll figure something out eventually. I'm lost. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what's right anymore. I need help. I can't. I'm drowning. Please. This is too much. Help me. Please, Dad. Precisely hot. Oh. She just has one mission and she's following that through. But then everyone's asking her, what about after that? What if nothing changes? What if this? What if that? She's like, don't ask me the what ifs. I'm just here for a reason. You guys sent me. And now it's like, what am I supposed to do? All her purpose is gone. I don't even know if it's possible. Can we alter the future without time travel? Or is that a Sisyphean task? Well, what's up? Are you here to beg for more time? I to want to continue our conversation from before. Where's Nye? It's just you and her, so. I don't have nearly enough information. You know which organizations use phonetic code and can tell me that would be a start. All right, Okabe. Assuming that every part of the story you've told me is true, and I had to take a wild shot in the dark here. Show me your results. D U R P A. Defense, Defense Ultimate Research Projects Agency. The basis for Russia's time machine research is Dr. Nakabachi's paper. Hold on, excuse me? That's called stealing, you know? And the Americans connect all the dots. It would lead them straight to. You say Kurusu and Amadeus. Mm. In that case, why wouldn't they just raid Victor Condria University? It would be pretty easy to hack into the research. And in this case, too, it's like then it can't. Okay, maybe it's not a professor, but the lady. Why were you giving girl looks? Keep forgetting her name. Kaguri. Yeah, why are you giving her looks like that? She's suspicious. The other one? The only, the only suspicious thing he did was walk down the hall and disappear when Okibe called out to him and he was gone. When those people raided the lab. Coggery. Is that because she's from the future? You think they came for the time machine that brought her here? Even if that is what they're after, it doesn't mean they'll find it. Why not? If their time travel research was based on a time machine from the future, it would create a massive temporal paradox. That can never happen. You know what? I'm gonna write a letter. I think I owe Uncle Ocarine an apology for earlier. I'll say sorry, then leave it at that. That's a good idea. And while you're at it, why not write one for Daddy, too? You could throw in some cute photos. Maybe, if I feel like it. Hey, now, why does Uncle Ocarine get special treatment? Well, huh? I kind of shot him. Anyway, this is no time for... <laughs> what would happen if the battery died during travel? Who knows? But if I had to take a wild guess, I'd say we'd lose control and get trapped beyond the event horizon for all of eternity. Don't even say that out loud. You're gonna jinx it. Although, 
I am curious what that would be like. Death? It's like it feels as peaceful as it does in this moment, but it lasts forever. Hmm. If it did. Sounds scary. That wouldn't be so bad. Because it's uncertain. You're just... Sousa, focus. You mean to tell me Kurisu was researching time travel? Yeah. I think this all stems from that. They want any trace of her research. My guess is her theories aren't on the dais, so they hacked it. Hmm. Do you know if there's anything else? Like data or notes on her research that might be dangerous in the wrong hands? If there are, it might get us closer to answers about the attack. Do you not believe? Nothing. I understand. Her diary book's so nice. No, is that Kurisu's? Ah. Oh. I can't tell him. Why not? Come to me. I'm not sure if she just does know something computer which she's gonna to give to him because she doesn't trust the information on there to other people, but uh Amadeus and Salieri. See that whole thing was suspicious too. But not really. <laughs> I mean I forget why it was. Dar was looking up but yeah, the phonetic codes and it came up to that. That's why. Yeah. Curry Sue and me. What? Amadeus and Salieri. The story of those two men holds special meaning for me. The same mockers that the uh I loved Kurisu. One of the IBN was adored her even. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, I respected her. I aspired to be like her. And yet I yeah, that's where she was found dead, that's why. Anywho, how's Amadeus? I just finished running the final system checks. We should be able to launch it now with no issues. You want me to do that? Of course. And I'm saying it was an inside job. This guy's okay for now. The girl though, the woman, I trust her. The hell is this? <gasps> Sheesh, I told you already I was asked to be Dr. Hiatra's body was. You made this place a dump. I think it's even worse than it was a few days ago. Everything's neatly put on to the side though. Amadeus is fully restored now. Is that so? What do you say? If you want to continue testing it, then I can reinstall the app for you. Even if it was hacked, why was the app dragged from this one? Yes, please do. Sergeant Clean, the get a clean queen. <laughs> Sergeant Clean's in charge now. Why is Nysel in it's the show? All you're good for is squirming around in garbage. You're the lowest of the low, and you answer to me. You got that part? It's not even his mess. Salieri showed promise in his own right as a court composer in Vienna. But his envy of Mozart's talent drove him to despair. In the end, Salieri's hounding and interference are said to have brought about Mozart's demise. Are you saying? Don't worry. It's not as dark as you might be thinking. But still. It is. <laughs> Hi. It's been a minute. You haven't changed at all. Yeah, same to you. Duh, of course I haven't. Oh my goodness, not her desktop. Oh my goodness. Subject regarding laptop, retrieving the locker tonight. We'll contact once again. Again, once an ass is complete. That's why she put up. You want someone to get into it because you don't have a password. <laughs> but you won't tell them about it. When will you tell them about it? Who's Dash? Could this person be trusted? Because people want her information like he just told you and you left her laptop in a locker. People could be watching everywhere, you got everything you guys do. Someone really attacked you guys in this, in. Oh, she's dumb. Sorry, I'm just saying she's dumb, but it just seems a little risky to leave her laptop after he just told you that people probably want information regarding her research on time travel. We've returned. I noticed. What's with the bags? Ferris said she wanted to go shopping, so. <laughs> she got her something? Sorry, but she no put boys them on her are allowed at our slumber party. Mm. Not even Kyoma meow. Wow, check out those tatas. Their boobs are magnificent and they're just tatas. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some juice. <laughs> Whoa, what she just like drop the app? Putting it in your diary. A memo for my novel. A novel? novel? You're a writer? It's a wedge. If I invent a fictional life, it might give mine meaning. What are you talking about? Your life has meaning, and nobody could ever replace you. But I. You're unique and important, so knock it off. 
If you always compare yourself to others, you'll waste your life feeling inferior. And you're not. Just never mind. Uh, can't take her own advice. I mean, she's tried to take her own advice. Oof. Kurisu had one of these little guys in her bedroom. Kurisu did? She must have had one sent to America then. <gasps> Spoken just like a true closet at Chandler. Huh? What are you even talking about? What's an at Chandler? Never gonna give. <laughs> oh. What the heck? I just gotta pick it up with the claw and drop it over the opening, and that's that, right? Okay. Or you could rearrange the circuit of this game and make it easier for you. Now's the perfect chance to prove that you're man enough. Come on, get it! Wait, me. <laughs> awesome. This should be just enough to. Someone came and knocked it loose. After Kurisu died, her mom put one in her bedroom. She knew how much Kurisu loved these, and it made her feel better. But it was lost in the fire. Fire? Oh, there was a fire? Damn, the six. Like... That's why. They what fire? The dad things. must have set her place blaze after she died. Any other research she had, no one else should have it but him. This place? Yeah. The building where Makise Kurisu lost her life. Even though he recently saw her and she kind of reassured him and made him a little bit stronger to be in this world life. Going back to the place it happened when you caused it. Did you really just meet Kurisu at a seminar? Because it doesn't seem that way. And I wonder, how long did you and Kurisu actually know you each other? You don't need to know that much. For a month? Two maybe? No, the way you talk about her leads me to believe it was a lot longer than that. Oh, what? How do you know so much about her? I can't say. Mm. Because I'm, I'm the one who... You did nothing. You did nothing. I promised myself I would never tell anyone this. Oh, okay, okay, the laptop. Well, I have her... I have everything that she... Kurisu's... Makise Kurisu. Damn, like, we know who you're talking about. Legacy. Her legacy. Hold on. Meaning, I have Kurisu's laptop. Not anymore. With all her notes and theories intact. Her research data and her private data, too. Her personal computer. Not the anymore. broke into my hotel. That must have been what they wanted. Where is it? But who would know you have it, you know? Who would know you have it other than the prof professor? I mean, if you know, even if you didn't tell him, he's around you so much to probably have realized. Or that lady. But yeah, where is it? She doesn't have it anymore. It's lost. I can't figure out her password, so I'm having a trustworthy source analyze it to try and hack in. No, you can't! Crystal's computer must not be opened! It's Pandora's box! The data inside is a curse that leads to the annihilation of the entire globe! Whoa, whoa, you couldn't tell her much, but now you just... You know, she, she doesn't have to hear more. What are you saying? Don't you hear me? The race to build a time machine leads America and Russia into deadly conflict with each other. Both countries are after the data on that laptop, and they will stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Who really it's are you, Okabe? That affects war. That brings about World War Three. He's so like, it's usually Susa. It's done. I can't believe it. World War Three. Ooh. <laughs> it's usually Susa that's so like aggressively talking about World War Three, trying to prevent it, but now. I mean, since he could figure out a way to save his brother and protect his brother without using time travel, he's going to do it. That's his whole passion about it. And the laptop is the key without really doing much time traveling. I didn't know her computer shouldn't be open. I just thought, okay, we gotta get it. It shouldn't be opened. That wouldn't really... Um, since no one knows her password and if you break into it, that just makes... I mean, anyone, if they found it, could have done that as well. Still, a partner's box, we should know, but we have to find it. Like, literally! I was like, why wouldn't... Why don't you tell him? Why don't you tell him? After what he said, even though he didn't explain as much, this girl wants to go get a crack, man. Let's in a locker, bro. I'm gonna personally take it to whoever's opening it and wait. It should it take that long? I don't know. I'll wait the whole day. These episodes are good. I can't wait to watch more. Um, Okabe's... I don't know what to say. I was say looking a little better. Not that he has to completely stop being in despair. It's just he's more strong now after that first episode when he was sent back. And seeing Kurisu again, she just gave him more assurance, made him a little bit more stronger, and um, made him more focused, more set on this path of protecting this world that he's on now. I feel bad for Suzaha, the way she was crying, like she doesn't know what to do now, but 
um, okay, he's more into it, even though he still won't time travel, he's going to figure out ways to prevent it. Learn more information, because even if you do, as Susan has said, we're not really sure it will fix much. We got the whole thing with America and Russia, with the, world, the earthquakes and their tests and the things. That's what pulled Okabe. And then the other girl too, Fukubi, Fu, Fu, Fubuki? Fubuki. How she remembered the world that he was pulled to before he put them back of um, Mayuri being dead. And like she must have reading standard, but then there must be more to that as well. You're not going to give her that and then nothing. There more, more has to come out of that. I was first suspecting, I wasn't really suspecting it first. I just said, wow, really convenient that they were gone getting tea when that happened. Um, and then I was talking about Yuki as well. With her mash up wrist, how did that happen? And then she's in interested in artificial intelligence, which is Amadeus. Like, don't give me any reason to suspect you, but there's that. But yeah, so with all that being said, I have nothing else to mention about these three episodes. Um, hopefully we learn more about what's to come or the things I mentioned in the next few episodes. Yes, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you didn't, class for thank you for watching and I'll see you later.